Hey guys, I mean, if Dubai is essential travel, I mean, me going to show off my telephone bag in Sainsbury's is also essential. Not them sending me a defective telephone. So excited! So basically, ah, ah, okay, so, ah, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Dami. If you know me, you know me. If you don't, you don't. Today, I'm going to be doing a tell tell far unboxing. Woo! I almost showed you my address. Um, I got a tell far bag. A tell feezy. No 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 breezy. I don't know the words to the fake song, but I got myself a tell far bag. I got it during the bag security program in August time so i did buy myself a telfeezy you might be asking dami when was the last time you wore a bag why are you buying yourself a telfa to that i tell you i have no answer to you i don't have an explanation for you and you may not get one that's it um i can't remember the last time i wore a bag actually i can it was the 22nd of december because i went christmas shopping since then before then I can't remember, can't remember the last time I wore a bag, but my birthday was in July and I graduated in July and I got my results. So to me, this was a graduation present to myself. Was it a month after my birthday and graduation? Yes. But what can you do? What can you do? It, it was 2020. I was bored. So the Telfar bag was made by Telfar Clemens, who owns the brand Telfar. And he's a Liberian American. I think he resides in New York. Where the money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, that's on what Mary had a little lamb. And he created the bag and he sees it as a form of disruption. As many years, not, not even many, a few years ago, he would have seen a black queer man making a genderless bag for anyone in a white filled world. And here we are. So this is a bag of disruption. People call it the Bushwick Birkin, the Brooklyn Birkin. However, I have no idea where Bushwick is because it wasn't in Gossip Girl, so it doesn't exist to me. So this is just my Birkin until I can Birkin bag myself. So I first heard of this bag in about 2019 um, when I think it was Kaylee McKenzie or Hot Lamode or both of them. They spoke about it and since then I've wanted it, but then I was like, oh, it's American, I can't be bothered. Um, but then this summer, well this summer, 2020 summer, when uh, people were trying to promote more black businesses, people were talking about Telfar and I was like, oh yeah, did I want a Telfar bag? So then I, did, I ended up buying two. What can you say? I'm crazy like that. So I got these bags from the bag security program. And so like one day in August, they said, every bag is free for all old shopping bags so you can pick any color that you want and you'll get it made for you so these bags were made for me for dummy i wish it said my name on it that'd be so sick that'd be ah if it on the tag it said made for dummy <gasps> so i got these during the bag security program because two days before i actually tweeted about it i wanted to buy a I put like the notifications on for their website to buy a Telfar but then I just forgot because it's at like 5 p.m uk time and it's like what am I doing in the middle of the day thinking hmm let me spend 300 pounds but it's kind of good because it meant I could get two bags and only pay for shipping once so that's how I'm justifying this purchase unless I'm in love with these bags I probably won't buy any more unless I you decide to go to America unless they also sell it to like Selfridges or something because you can't get it in Selfridges or Harrods or Harvey Nicks and it got it said it was shipped on like Friday and it arrived Tuesday and the reason why I'm not sanitizing it is because I've already have sanitized it and I've quarantined it for like two days so yeah that's why I'm just touching it willy-nilly <laughs> if you can't hear from my voice I am from the UK um, and Telfar is an American company I did buy it from the Telfar website I have seen it on Farfetch in England uh, but it's just way more expensive I think it was like 400 pounds for the large one which is like 250 and um, altogether it cost me 414 dollars but in my defense not like i really deserve a defense but it was 327 pounds 
where did I find this money? I can't even tell you. So I got the medium one and I got a small one. So the medium one was $202 and the small one was $150, which means it was about £100 for the small one and $150 for the big one, for the medium one. Delivery was like $65 but I didn't have to pay customs because it was included in that fee so that's how I'm justifying it because that's about how much I've paid more for Ariana Grande merch in customs before so <sighs> life's a game in it so before we get into the unboxing please like comment subscribe have you tried to buy a Taco bag what colors would you pick and what colors do you think I picked actually you already know because it's in the thumbnail but anyway I'm gonna unbox it Oh, I'm, I'm filming some TikTok, so you need to bear with me whilst I do this. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, I need to do, need to do a face reveal on the old TikTok. Percy, damn me. <laughs> that was not the words. Let's see it. Damn. Ah. What? Okay, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna open it. Woo! I hope you can see on that camera. If not, you can see my eight TikToks I'm making. Gosh, darn it. Oh gosh, there we go. The first cut has been made. Why can't I cut in a straight line? Anyway, besides the point, ah. Uh... Ooh, whoa. Shady come nine, one, one. Oh, y'all can't see that. You can see. Okay, now I've got to. <gasps> ah! I got. Ah! I need to take it all off, so y'all can't track me down. Okay, okay, okay. Let me take this out so you can't see me. So this was also made for me. Ah, okay. So I got two. So this is the first one. Ah, I got a small one first. Okay, so ah, 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 ah. I'm so excited. So basically, ah, ah, okay. So, ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> so excited, and I just can't hide it. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for so long. I've been waiting for this one. Turn it up, okay. So I saw the white one, and I went to my mom. Mom, can you buy me a white telephone bag for my birthday? She said. Next question. So I bought it upon myself to buy one. I don't know, I think I saw it on, t someone had the white one on Twitter. I don't know. Uh, mm, ah. <gasps> Ooh, okay. 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 Oh. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oh. A tell feezy, a tell feezy, a tell feezy. I'm so sorry, I'm like this. So we're gonna take off, I don't know if you can see this on my phone camera, but, ooh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. So this is the white one. Ah, so he says you've got the 2C. Okay, okay, Mr. Telfar. So it opens up like this. So it's just, it's very small. Let me, this is my iPhone 11 and it just about would fit in sideways. I keep my strap on me. Okay, okay, so this is the strap. I think everything needs to be like washed out a bit. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I keep saying okay, sorry. That's the inside of the bag. Okay, these are long straps. But yeah, my phone does fit in there, just about. It fits in like diagonally. Oh, whoa. Shady car, nine, one, one. Now we're on to the medi dark olive one. It really needs to be filled out because it looks a bit weird, low-key, because it's been folded. But I guess it's good that you can fold it. Uh, it's also, it's not like pure white. There's some cream in it, but it is white, but it's more cream. It's white, but it's not like bright white. It's just white. So this one is the meat. See you, box. Okay, so this one is the medium, a medium one. Because, okay, okay. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Okay. Ah, oh, TC. I look, oh, 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 oh gosh. 
Okay. <gasps> oh, yes, lady. Yes, shawty. Surprise, shawty. Okay, okay. Okay, so this one's just got a... The paper isn't, like, secured on this one. Okay, this is a great reveal. <gasps> Dark olive green. <gasps> wow. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Oh, this one, it, I think... Wow. I really do wish I got a bright colour. I also wanted the orange and the pink and the blue one. All three, but I thought buying five was a bit reckless, you know. Let's take off the paper. <gasps> okay, does it fit my laptop in it? This one, obviously, I was going to say, it has more room than the white one, I would hope. This is the long strap, like this, on me. This is the long strap. Oh, it's... Oh my gosh, it's perfect for crossbody. I wasn't sure whether it's going to be, like, here or where, but this is... Oh amazing <laughs> hey guys one question i had for this bag was does it fit my laptop in because i wanted to use this bag for uni so i've started my masters again and i thought oh maybe i'll actually be going into the university however it's all online so loki don't need it here okay. does it fit my 13 inch macbook pro let's find out loki you can't actually find out because i'm using it right now but i'm gonna put my laptop case in it this is from society six Will it fit? Yes, it fits, and there's room at the top. Okay, Ooh. Hydro Flask. This is the 24 ounce, 709 milliliter one. Let's see if it fits. It does, and it just, yeah, you can see it sticking out a bit, but that's a matter. What else do you carry in a bag? I don't know, another bag? Does this one fit in it? Yep, yeah, cool. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it so much, I love you so much, baby. Let's put my iPad in it, iPad fits in. <laughs> I'm being weighed down guys, the Telfar bag is bringing me down, let me put it on there, see if I can get up now. Oh gosh, there we go, it's not that heavy, it is actually kind of heavy but that's my water bottle it's all coming down there let me put the water bottle like landscape it's a bit better <gasps> oh my okay the shape of it i think you need to put flat things on the bottom so it is vegan leather so i won't expect it to smell like leather but it does have a smell it doesn't smell bad it smells quite nice actually um what's this do you not eat okay so the inside there's no zip well the, there's no zip for the whole bag but there's a magnetic clasp like so and then in the inside here there's a zipper how big is this zipper okay my whole hand fits in the zipper so it's about that deep your phone can fit in it like and then you could fit two phones in here like on top of each other and if you've got the bigger phone than this it will fit in hmm there is a mark on it. Where is the mark here? Where's my thumb? You see that? I don't want to scratch it. Let me use my finger. <gasps> not them sending me a defective Telfar. Was this not made for me? Huh? I might just need warm water. And okay, we've got it off. We've got it off, guys. I do prefer the bigger size. There is a size up from this, but um, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't need it. Where am I going? Literally nowhere. This is, as long as this fits my laptop in, you could take this on the plane and you'll have much room for your laptop, snacks. Like, there's a hefty amount of stuff in here. You can fit in here. Should I just fit stuff in? Okay, this is my mum's laptop. So, mum's laptop, my iPad, laptop case. Okay, everything's sliding around a bit. Water bottle speaker, vitamin C, <laughs> phone, airpods, remote, magnifying glass which lights up. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for one bag, but it fits everything. Oh gosh, this is heavy, damn. But you'll see the shape, like how, oh, it is a bit, it's not 
I would prefer if the bottom was had like a base to it to keep it flat because it's kind of annoying how it's sticking out but that doesn't bother me too much. Oh, okay, where am I gonna debut it? Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's local, the park. There's literally nowhere else I can go. Asda, may venture out to a Tesco, Aldi, quality safe, B&M. Hmm, where do you think I'm gonna take this first? So the white one is cute. Like she's a nice little day bag, but this is gonna be my everyday carry. Where am I going? I don't know. But when I'm allowed outside, this will be my everyday carry. Actually, this one, cause, the thing with me is I hate wearing bags. <laughs> so you might be asking, damn it, why did you buy two? Well, I don't know. I was caught up in the sauce. But the reason I hate wearing bags is I just, if I've got a coat, if I've got a coat, then I've got pockets. And whatever am I carrying, which I need more than pockets, I don't know. But I do like small bags. I wear small bags more than I wear big bags because where am I going? So I would just put my AirPods, AirPods, hand sanitizer. That's about it. Oh, and my wallet as well, wherever that is. Who knows where, I'm, I've not seen my wallet in months, not gonna lie. Um, I've memorized my card details. So whenever I need to pay, I just, off the dome. So thank you for watching my Telfar bag unboxing. Let me. Thanks for watching my Telfar bag unboxings. Yeah, I don't really have any much to say. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Will you buy a Telfar bag? Are you gonna try and get in on the drops? Let me know. But I would recommend. You can't do this though. Oh, my arm is just too fat to do that. But you can do this. But you can't do this. But you can do this. But you can't do it. But you can do this. But you can't do. I don't know what you can't do. You can do whatever you want to be completely honest. Not my problem. I really want to go frolic and Sainsbury's with them. Both of them. Maybe I'll just take the white one. When am I going frolic and Sainsbury's? We're in a lockdown. I need to go for essential travel only. I mean, if Dubai is essential travel, I mean, me going to show off my telephone bag in Sainsbury's is also essential. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Check out my other videos. I have them. I don't know what they're about, but they're there. If you believe me. Bye.